So you're going to that networking event, a cocktail party, could be at an industry conference, could be at a convention, and there's a networking event. For a lot of people, this is nerve-wracking. You feel uncomfortable, especially if you don't know anyone. So what do a lot of people do? They get one drink and they're sort of sipping it and they're kind of standing in the corner, looking around, nervous, and frankly, a little creepy. You don't want to be that guy or, or that woman. You also don't want to avoid what could be a perfectly good event, something that could advance your career because you're uncomfortable and you don't know what to do or what to say. So here are some tips on how to use body language in a more effective way when you're going to a network event. For starters, as soon as you walk in, look like you're happy to be there. Not a gigantic fake smile, but just be up. Good posture. A little bit of a smile on your face. Look around and see if anyone is willing to give you eye contact. Now, if two people are close to each other and they're having a very serious conversation. You don't want to just butt in, hi, my name is TJ, well, here's my business card. No, you don't want to do that. You want to read the signals and see, are people open to someone else coming in and talking? Is there an openness? Do they have an open body language or are there two people closed off? Don't invade their privacy if they're two good friends really catching up on each other's lives. But if you see other people smiling, milling about, feel free to go up and make a little comment. Say, you know, isn't the food nice? Having fun. This is great. Hi, my name is. There's all sorts of things you can say. It's not that any one thing is perfect. The thing is your body language needs to be open. You need to exude the sense of, I'm happy to be here. I'm having fun. Here's some things to avoid. You don't want to run right to the food, get a big plate, fill it up, and then all your hands are filled up. It's just too hard to meet people. Your body language is saying, hey, I'm hungry, I'm poor, I want to get free food. In fact, the best thing for networking events, eat before you get there or plan on eating afterwards. You want your hands free so you can Use that part of body language we talked about in an earlier lecture. You want to be able to shake people's hands. If they ask for your card or you ask for theirs, you want to be able to get one or to get theirs and put it in your pocket. So the more your hands are free, the better. Now let's talk about drinks. I'm no teetotaler. There's nothing wrong with a drink, but if you're at a networking event, Make sure your drink is in your left hand if it's a cold drink, because if you're holding it with your right hand, it makes your hand all cold and clammy, and it's just kind of weird when people feel it for that shake. So keep your hand in your left hand. And I don't want to be dogmatic or give you an ironclad rule here, but in general, if it's an event where you really think you're going to be making important prospects, maybe you're job hunting, I would even avoid alcohol on your breath because if people can smell the alcohol on you, that may be the thing that sticks out in their memory. Well, you might want to invite this person in for a job interview, but I just remember this sort of rancid wine smell on their breath. Okay, you could have had just a few sips. Different people react different ways. You're safer just having water. Seltzer water with a lemon or a lime, that's the safest thing. I don't want to be a killjoy. I certainly enjoy a nice glass of wine and have at many networking events. But if the stakes are really high, you're really there for business and to talk to people and to really exchange information, I would just go with a little seltzer water, forget the food, eat before or after, and talk to people, have conversations, be friendly, move around, don't stalk people, don't stay in the corner, and try to talk to people who look like they're willing to be talked to. If there's someone standing there eating, that's a perfect target. Just walk up to them and make some small time chat, some small chat, and you'll be in good shape. Don't worry about 
holding things in your hands. Don't worry about, oh, I have to have a drink if the bar line is long. Just go up and talk to people. Move, a little bit of a smile on your face. Do that, and your body language will help you in these networking events. It won't make you look stiff or scared or uncomfortable. It won't scare people away. It will draw people to you. And that's exactly what you want.